linear regression. The purpose of these videos is to give you an overview, to replace a textbook essentially, of the material that we're going to cover. The idea here is that you can go back and rewatch these. I'm going to try to keep the videos short and to the point, but remember you can always pause and come back later. You can always rewind. You can speed up the video if I'm talking too slow, or you can speed down the video if I'm talking too fast. So, just remember to use these videos. I'm going to give you guided notes. Don't forget to turn your captions on if that helps you. You also might have a transcript if it's generated by the time you watch this. So use these tools to help you understanding really difficult stuff as we go through the year. All right, so we uh, will start off with vocabulary, then we'll talk about the goals of this lesson, so the explanation of the material, a couple examples, and what to do next. Our first objective is to understand what linear regression is and why we use it. We're going to improve our graph reading skills, and we're going to learn how to use the regression function built into a TI-84 calculator. If you have a different calculator, you're going to have to look up a different YouTube video because I didn't want to go through all of them. Fundamental knowledge, uh, things we need to know to obtain the, these objectives. The steps associated with graphing data and obtaining regression equation from a TI-84 calculator, and using the regression equation to determine a slope. Our vocabulary, we're going to start off with linear regression, which is a stati statistical technique used to model the relationship between two variables by fitting a linear equation to observe data. We have our dependent variable, which is the variable being predicted or explained in a regression analysis, typically plotted on the y-axis. Our independent variable, the variable being changed, so it may be used to predict or explain the values of the dependent variable typically plotted on the x-axis. We have our slope, which is the coefficient that represents the rate of change of the dependent variable with respect to the independent variable. It can also be re referred to as the gradient, regression line, or derivative. And we have our intercept, which is the value of the dependent variable when the independent variable is zero in a linear regression equation. A lot of these are going to look familiar to you. Hopefully it's nothing too new for you. Just slight changes. Why do we use linear regression? It aims to find the best fitting line that represents the relationship between two variables. It assumes a linear relationship where changes in the independent variable lead to proportional changes in the dependent variable. The equation for a simple linear regression model is y equals mx plus b, where y represents the dependent variable, x represents the independent variable, B represents the intercept, and M represents the slope. What I've drawn here is our X and Y axis. And if you'll notice, the Y axis easily turns into a D, so that's where our dependent variable goes. Our X axis easily turns into an I, that's where our independent variable will go. The goal of regression is to adjust the value of the model's parameters to find the line or curve that comes closest to your data, the line of best fit. In science, we use it with one of three distinct goals, either to make predi predictions to fit a model to your data in order to obtain a best fit value of the parameters, or to compare the alternative models. It's your, if this is your goal, you have to pick a model, carefully pay attention to all the results. Is it a square root relationship, directly proportional, linear? The whole point is to obtain best fit values for the parameters, so you need to understand what those parameters mean scientifically. This is the relationship between the variables. To find a smooth curve in order to interpolate values from the curve or perhaps draw a graph with a smooth curve. If this is your goal, you can assess it purely by looking at the graph of data and curve. There's no need to learn much theory.